Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Ask the Lord for an encounter as you pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Give me an encounter even by your spirit. Shabaros kati balanda kasofra deske bedeke te balash. Embrende kuska dila haska fere de kusi kati ala bahaska. Ando kasofra deke paladosha de krende ke bedeke tosiata. Someone is praying. Ena mashala kraska de bedeke tosia banalusia. Manda prantos kati balakusha prateske de bedeke tosia. Our hearts are open to the spirit of the living God. Shada tata baka tapa ratos kata frente ke balakusha de prianda katosiata. Make sure you participate in the prayer. Shalim prete is kapila kasho do prakas katila kapahardia teke te frostia. Soda bande ke te balakusha fratis kibiata. Shala bata semeke endosiata. Harapatus kaparondas kadeberendas yene katushima. Harunda baratus afeke di balatusia. Let there be a mighty move of your spirit tonight. Let there be miracles, signs, wonders, the demonstration of the superiority of the kingdom of light. Even over darkness. This we believe, this we decree. Shamandos Kabila Katus. Shabrateke Paratu Kabele Kateba Matus Gata. In the name of Jesus. One more prayer request and then we sit down. Genesis 24 and verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he had spoken 21 1 21 1 genesis 21 and verse 1 and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken he only does what he says and because he has said it the bible says and whatsoever adam called it that was the name thereof i'd like you to lift your voice and say lord do to me as you have said do upon me as you have decreed do to me do for me as you have said is someone praying as you have said by your spirit as you have said by your word as you have said by your servant let there be a performance in my life tonight for in Jesus name we pray for in Jesus name we pray Please be seated. Yesterday we began to discuss on the subject of dominion and I just want to tie up a few things and then we'll have the time to pray. The presence of God is mighty in this place and I like you to be very sensitive because in this atmosphere many things happen. Hallelujah. Including your healing, including your deliverance, including your breakthrough, including your restoration, including an ascendance that is granted unto you in the spirit, that you will rise to higher levels and higher dimensions in Jesus' name. So we considered Hebrews chapter 2. We attempted to answer a question, verse 8 particularly. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 8 it says 
thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet for in that he put all things in subjection under him the bible says he left nothing that is not put under him but now as far as the reality of the moment is concerned he says we see not yet all things under him and we started probing into the reason why many believers are unable to command power and authority to walk in dominion as far as the program of God is concerned. Let me recap on a few things that I said that there are two aspects, two dimensions, aspects of dominion. Number one, that dominion is about creation and manifestation of divine possibilities. You are only in dominion to the degree to which you sustain the ability to create and manifest divine possibilities. He said, let there be and there was. Let there be and there was. Hallelujah. The centurion said, for I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me i say to one come and he cometh he does not come on his own he's commanded to come by my speakings to another go and then he goes and jesus said i have not found such faith not in israel who mentored you who who designed your spiritual understanding to know the power of dominion the ability to create and to manifest divine possibilities through the speakings of god and the speakings of men empowered by God hallelujah so there is no dominion until and unless we see creation and manifestation number two the second aspect of dominion involves correction and restoration hallelujah so that dominion gives you the ability to correct and rewrite narratives to correct anomalies many times in the speakings of jesus he said but from the beginning it was not so that means many things as they are were not they are not as designed it is the assignment of the spirit and the character of dominion to restore all things to reflect the intent of god is that not why the church was empowered ephesians chapter 3 paul was speaking about the basis of his apostleship and when we get to verse 9 and then verse 10 Ephesians 3 please give it to us verse 9 and verse 10 he says and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery verse 9 let's finish up verse 9 before we jump to 10 which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ please read verse 10 with me if you can see it ready one to read to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold multifaceted wisdom of God that means something about the manifestation of the church would reveal unto principalities and powers the vastness the extent of God's wisdom hallelujah correction who sinned that this man was born blind himself or his father and jesus said that's not the issue right now the most important thing is that this situation needs to be corrected there are many things that the anointing and the power of god seeks to correct in our lives and may tonight be that night in the name of jesus christ but from the beginning it was not so but from the beginning that family was not so but from the beginning that ministry was not so but from the beginning based on the prophecy upon your life it should not be so hallelujah he says casting down every high thing and bringing every knowledge to the obedience of Christ this you must understand this so that when we are discussing the subject of dominion you understand the scope of what you're dealing with number one I repeat again creation and manifestation 
that means you should never be worried about what is not here yet because there is still a technology where you can draw it to make it present in your space don't be surprised if i have something tomorrow that is not yet in my life now that is the assignment of dominion to make possible and to make manifest everything that is required for life and godliness and ultimately the revelation of the christ hallelujah and then number two correction so if someone came for instance holding a crutch that is a situation that from the beginning it was not so the assignment of dominion is not to be aware that that situation needs to be changed the spirit of dominion insists are we together now until that situation comes to the obedience of christ how do you know what the obedience of christ looks like let it be done in earth as it is in heaven heaven is an atmosphere that has zero tolerance for disobedience this is why the atmosphere and the culture the dexterity of heaven is a reflection of what the obedience of christ can produce are we together this is very important because most believers talk about dominion and yet we do not know what the assignment of dominion is now let me say one or two things i hope that we'll be able to get before um, we begin to pray what exactly is the purpose of dominion you see because if we do not understand the intent and the purpose of any any spiritual provision not only will we abuse it we cannot even maximize it dominion itself is not the goal dominion is only a means to an end are we together now if you do not understand this you will never truly walk in authority and power to what intent why did god go so far to take that risk and invest upon men the capacity to walk in dominion what is it about are we together now there is a principle in theology called the reflection principle that a body or an entity cannot glorify himself until and unless he invests that glory in another body it is the excellence of the object that you invest your glory upon that becomes a testament of your own glory so the father cannot glorify himself the father depends on the excellence of the son for him to be glorified the son cannot glorify himself the son depends on the excellence of the church in partnership with the holy spirit for the son to be glorified the church cannot glorify herself it is the dominion of the church over the cosmos are we together now that is where the church gets its glory so the church is glorified by the ability to subdue to dominate the entire cosmos and you know the jurisdiction of our dominion already i taught you this psalm 21 the earth the resources the fullness the mindsets and the inhabitants the earth is the lord's the fullness thereof the walls the systems and then they that dwell therein as far as the physical realm is concerned and now in christ we have the advantage to reach forth beyond this realm because the bible says that he has been exalted above thrones dominions and every name that is named and the bible says we have been risen with christ do you do you believe that so the scope of our dominion in christ is not limited to physical things our territories and our landmass i told you that based on god's organogram of authority the only entity for want of word higher than man is god not angels not cherubims no after god is man how do i know that because only man was made the host of the holy spirit who is god you see the holy spirit hovers around creation but he lives in man there are no three thrones in heaven you will never hear about three thrones in heaven because the third throne permanently resides within man 
are we together now it is the presence of the holy spirit that brings man to now be in unity with the triune godhead you need to understand the implication of this that means as far as god is concerned the only the only limit to man and his operation should be god and the will of god not the limitations that come from situations and circumstances hallelujah so john 17 and verse 1 jesus made a very profound statement the bible says jesus lifted up his head to heaven praying now and he said father the hour is come watch the reflection principle now glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so god glorifies the son in order to get glory are we together now yes when you watch a couple and you see a, a dear wife wonderfully dressed and adorned people would usually look at the husband and say you are doing a very good job and a wise woman will agree and not to and say we give the credit to him the moment there is rebellion what happened to vashti happens to that person you see the problem with vashti is that she did not understand that her being queen was simply because she married a king so the moment she she started manifesting in the the similitude of lucifer to have a government of her own and the elders came to advise and said get this woman out of here she will spread a mindset that would destroy your reign hallelujah are we together now yes. so when god invests such power and grace please listen carefully upon the church in my life and your life it is to the intent listen carefully that jesus be revealed not god be revealed is the assignment of jesus to glorify god not men listen carefully it is not our assignment the father is ultimately glorified but our concern is to reveal and glorify jesus but automatically in the revelation and the glorification of jesus the father is glorified you do not bypass that protocol the scope of our office is to project and to glorify jesus are we together now jesus did his job well because his concern was the father father the hour has come glorify thy son that thy son will glorify you and jesus said as my father has sent me so send i you he didn't say the father sent you the father sent me and now i send you hallelujah that means everything in your life given to you by God that does not sustain the ability to reveal and glorify Jesus is a waste. Even if it is God who gave you. Everything, please listen, in the kingdom, anything only derives its relevance to the degree to which it submits as a tool to reveal Jesus. Your beauty, your wisdom, your anointing, your power, your church, nothing has any spiritual essence in itself until the revelation of jesus partners with that thing whatever it is so when you say i have money that is a useless statement in the realm of the spirit i have money that will be used to reveal jesus now that money has value i have anointing is a very useless statement in the realm of the spirit to what intent is someone getting this now because the church we keep shouting power and dominion and don't get it because usually we want it to prove a point to cure complex and it's a very well-meaning desire but that is too small a reason to receive such investments hallelujah very powerful the revelation of jesus the revelation of jesus the revelation of jesus that means something about the excellency the outworkings of the power the wisdom remember what he said that it might be known to principalities through the church the manifold multifaceted wisdom so for everyone who is going isn't it incredible that we're sitting here quietly right now and then in a few minutes this whole place is on fire that's what God can do but you see I warn you in advance that when these things begin to happen you are making a mistake if you keep looking at me all of us should together including myself 
look up to the Christ he becomes the epicenter behind everything let me tell you this show me a life that is doggedly committed to the revelation of Christ and I show you a candidate for dominion in experience fasting without the intent to reveal Christ is only a burdensome ritual prayer without the intent to reveal Christ will only multiply your pain because you are doing the right thing yet you will not get the result Bible study without the intent to reveal Jesus church growth this thing is not very difficult just focus on the revelation of Jesus and you have your compass has brought you to a place of safety hallelujah yes. dominion is not about the saints dominion is about the revelation of the multifaceted possibilities that are resident in Christ through the saints understand this very simple teaching and we're ready for the miracle service tonight so when the breakthrough comes people say what happened and you can say this and that happened but your story is not complete if your testimony ends with you if your testimony ends with you you did not do a good job then I got the money then I got the car then I was healed and heaven is still listening there is a sound there is there is something they are waiting to hear then I this happened then the child came aha uh -huh. from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center, it's all about you, yes, it's all about you. Do you believe this? You see, all the people we read about in the Bible and those we call God's generals, let me tell you the truth, by the privilege of God's grace, I have studied every one of these people as much as I can find. I submit to you. I did not find anything in their life that we are not doing now. We are fasting more than many of them fasted. We are praying more than many of them prayed. Believe me, I'm a student of history. But I found something. Their commitment to see Jesus revealed is the one key that we are missing. When you saw Reinhard Bonke, you saw Jesus reflected. When you saw T.L. Osborne, they were not ashamed of every opportunity to demonstrate their frailty. They didn't hide it. That was the extent to which they wanted Jesus seen. That everything that seemed to make them superhuman, they would almost make efforts to neutralize it. Because they wanted Jesus seen. And look the possibilities that they saw from nation to nation. But for some reason, maybe because of our backgrounds, maybe because, you know, people did not believe in us when we started, or our sociological context, there is still locked up within us a desire. Lord, I want you to shine, but don't forget about me. I can't hide the fact that me too. Let's do it together. Hallelujah. It is the one secret I have found about dominion and authentic power. When it becomes true in your heart. To see you high and lifted up. You are shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. As we sing holy, holy, holy. We'll see you high and lifted up. You're shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. So this, I must emphasize, is the reason for dominion. Don't just stretch your hands to say, Lord, the grace to walk in power and authority man of god you must understand businessman you must understand that everything that gives you access to create and manifest to correct 
and restore also has an assignment the end of all things is the Christ himself you never put full stop till you arrive at Jesus so as the blessing and the lifting comes make sure it passes through you and does not stop at you that journey must continue until it gets to the foot of the cross this is a very powerful secret John said in chapter 3 and verse 30 he says that I may decrease he didn't say that I may vanish but that I may decrease and that he may increase John got it right but for some reason I don't know what happened for as long as he was about Jesus his relevance remained but for as long as he got angry and felt Jesus this thing I don't even understand again you know how John died he died as a birthday gift from a little girl what spirits could not do what warriors could not do a little girl's dance remove the head of a prophet that is not how God rewards those who serve them but this is what happens when you are at the wrong end of this dominion thing the scribes and Pharisees because his entire process of baptism was about Jesus nobody could touch him nobody could kill him provided the mission was the revelation of Jesus the disciples of John at a point in time together with him he got offended and he said go and ask Jesus are you the Messiah forget that I ordained you I'm not even sure of what I did again and Jesus said aha uh -huh, I know what the problem is you have taken your attention from the revelation of me now to yourself for as long as the disciples walked with Jesus and the goal was to support the revelation of him they remained invincible and powerful then they asked a question he said come on this thing is it all about you what shall be done to us and division started destruction started until they all disappeared it is dangerous when you listen when the light of God shines through your heart if it is your image that reflects back you are in trouble you are truly yielded when it is Jesus that is reflected back because if I stand in front of a mirror and see a dog I know that there is a spirit I'm not a dog if I stand in front of a mirror I should see myself so if you say that he has consumed you and you stand in the mirror strangely you should not see yourself are we together but for many of us when we stand in the mirror our ambitions and self and everything is what we see then we back it up with spirituality and say i must have dominion no it does not work that way god is not a fool are we together now jesus revealed i say jesus glorified this is the simple childlike but potent intent to the whole subject of dominion when i found this many of you may have heard me narrate a few of my stories and i told you that the lord spoke to me many years ago and said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you if you will let men see me if you can be foolish and stupid enough to hide behind the cross and let Jesus be seen and his power revealed help that lady I just saw light there are levels of possibilities in the kingdom you can get out of a realm of trial and error the Bible says he that strives for mastery is not crowned unless he strives lawfully listen there are realms and dimensions in the spirit Job said there is a path which no fowl has seen that the whelps of the lion has not even gotten there there are virgin dimensions in the spirit that are waiting for the saints your yieldedness your yieldedness lord i want to see you revealed in this church see you revealed in my family see you revealed in port Harcourt. see you revealed through this business that is the language of dominion 
the language of dominion is not me the language of dominion is not my agenda now listen you see why the centurion's discussion caught jesus he said for i am a man under uh -huh. not i am a man with not i am a man alongside i am a man under and jesus said who is speaking my language i am under the authority of the government of rome and my my power is derived from coming under only those under authority can be given authority it is a law i am a man under so when the sons of skiva tried to demonstrate dominion the demon said jesus i know we know him by the authority structure paul i know we know him by the authority structure but where do you stand remember there was nothing false in what they said we adjure you by the jesus whom paul preaches that's not the fake jesus so it's not in the pronunciation not the recitation be healed stand up no no it's not a charm it's not it's not some genie that you chant the foundation for speaking that produces result comes from your heart from your relationship and the purity the sincerity of your desire to make jesus known not the accuracy of your english it is not the correct pronunciation of the condition that brings healing or miracles no the name of the lord these are secrets that i will continue to share for as long as god grants grace it is so simple yet so difficult you would think just because i'm saying it's so simple it is working in it you need an extra grace to live a life that is dedicated to revealing jesus it is when you are about the mission of revealing jesus that you know how stubborn the flesh is the flesh will leave you in peace provided you are revealing yourself but the moment you shift your attention on jesus that is when you will see the strength and the rebellion of the flesh the flesh is stubborn i have suffered let me find expression too for you are holy righteous and worthy oh lord believe know many people who experience the miraculous do not even know at what point the power of God started flowing usually they will say after an encounter but let me tell you sincerely what really happened is in the year King Uzziah died I saw in the year the flesh died in the year my desire to be known died in the year my desire to be the epicenter of my achievement died something happens to men when flesh dies now let me tell you the irony ladies and gentlemen is that it is impossible to be about revealing jesus and then be without relevance no because if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw men beginning from the man lifting me I would always give an example please everybody look up and look at this pulpit the focus is on this part of it is that true but can you pretend not to see this this is not what the pulpit is about but you cannot deny the dexterity of the support so every time while your eyes focuses here it's impossible to ignore this this is you when you become this you are in trouble because i cannot keep this bible here that is not the assignment so it will keep falling and you will keep giving a useless explanation no it was a mistake you don't have faith that's why you were not healed no let god be god and be comfortable being a vessel when you're done please take the glory satisfied just to see you glorify very powerful song
when that song becomes true in your life then everywhere he goes whoever is lifting him goes with him if he goes to men of influence the lifter goes to if Jesus enters a plane the one supporting him will enter the plane this is how it works I am a man under authority because I am under authority I have soldiers under me and within the jurisdiction of my authority I say to one go and he goes that is dominion he's not saying it and he goes and he's healed and it appears saying it is not dominion it's the effect Genesis 1 verse 2 and 4 and God said let there be and there was and he saw and it was good so you know you are walking in dominion when you say and it becomes and then it finds visible manifestation jesus looked at the centurion and said you are an incredible man there is an understanding you have about the kingdom first that the power of your authority is the strength of the authority you are under if i say to those go and they do not go the authority above me is what punishes the authority under me are we together so paul puts it this way he says submit therefore to the authority of christ then he says resist the devil and he will flee he didn't say whenever you see before you speak verify that that authority is still in place if you are sure resist the devil with no fear and he leaves you with an assurance he will flee you are intelligent why will he flee will he flee because you are resisting him no there is a relationship between his fleeing and the validity of the authority you are under are we together now so hear me for all of the miracles and the mighty things look how arrogant it would sound if i were speaking this by my own strength look the kind of intelligent people seated here inside and outside and then i come around the podium and i'm talking with such audacity that in a few minutes there will be healings deliverances miracles and breakthroughs are you that weak for me to play with your mind what gives you the confidence to want to embarrass yourself before the whole world what if nothing happens <laughs> what if after all of these stories nothing happens no healing no deliverance no breakthroughs no testimonies what then happens how does a man speak like this this is what jesus said and they said something is wrong with you you speak with authority when the scribes speak they factor in plan b they are very careful with their statements because they are not even sure where the power comes from but now you show up in a temple and you speak with authority that the spirit of the lord is upon me and then you tell somebody with a withered hand stretch forth your hand stood before lazarus and said lazarus come forth held peter's mother-in-law and said stand up go and make something for us five loaf and two fish he said ask the people to sit down the disciples did not get it for a long time but then they got to a point where now they had understood the power of that authority the bible says when it was the time the hour of prayer while they were going they saw a man who sat at gate beautiful and peter now having that understanding he said look on us look on us you know why he says look on us because they looked on to him if you can look on to jesus then it is all right for men to look on to you because they will not be ashamed look on us and the bible says he looked expecting to receive something and he says silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus of nazareth he said rise up and walk and the man was still watching them and he says no based on this technology it should not fail he held him and lifted him 
and the bible says the man leaping stood the man leaping stood the man leaping stood hallelujah i may not have the time to give you the three keys that activate dominion but maybe i'll just list it we may not have the time to explain because my spirit is boiling and I know that God is ready to turn someone's mourning to dancing and someone's sorrow to joy in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. But the first key that really activates dominion is revelation. Access to light. Access to light. High level spiritual illumination. This is a kingdom where possibilities that are activated are based on the strength of your spiritual illumination hallelujah praise the name of the lord ephesians chapter 1 when we begin to read from verse 16 ephesians 1 16 please give it to us ephesians chapter 1 and verse 16 he said i cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers uh-huh that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Please keep that scripture there. You know what revelation is? Revelation is beyond knowledge. When you know a thing, it does not mean you have revelation. Revelation is a combination of knowledge and understanding. It is knowledge and understanding. Revelation comes out of knowledge. The Bible says you have revelation in the knowledge. Within that knowledge will come revelation. When you know and you understand, it has been revealed to you. Most people have knowledge. Knowledge talks about awareness. Awareness of a principle, a concept, the awareness of a possibility. But just having the awareness does not make it manifest. Understanding now helps you on to know the dynamics of the operations that govern that possibility. When these two happen to you, you have revelation. Hallelujah. So knowing that God prospers is not revelation, that is knowledge understanding the dynamics that surround the economic system of the kingdom in addition to that knowledge is now what revelation is about are we together now and so he says revelation in the knowledge of him verse 18 he says the eyes of your understanding okay we have it there being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints i like verse 19 and then he says what is the exceeding greatness of his power the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power revelation is powerful every time you walk with the spirit of god and the word of god something begins to happen to you the strength of your knowledge your understanding your revelation is how your dominion grows it says grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge the word there is not just awareness you are coming into a deep comprehension number two is faith for sake of time the second key that truly releases dominion is faith faith it is very important to understand the operations of faith the bible says in mark chapter 11 when you read 22 23 24 mark 11 please for sake of time 22 23 24 jesus answering said unto them have faith in god and then he explains what he meant that whosoever shall say so the character of faith is that there must be a saying or there must be action mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass then he shall have whatsoever he saith verse 24 he says therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them 
you see clearly from that scripture that receiving and having are two different things you can only have what you have received you cannot have what you have not received receiving is an entirely spiritual business hallelujah and then he says you shall have it shall be made manifest in your life so the ministry of revelation activating dominion number two faith taking action that is consistent with the demands that commit god and commit his word number three the anointing this is the third key dominion cannot be in isolation to the power of god isaiah chapter 61 the spirit of the lord is upon me he says for he hath anointed me please give it to us reading from verse 1 to 4 he says he hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. So let me leave the other words and just speak a few words. The anointing came upon me to preach, to bind, to proclaim liberty, to open up the prison. Verse 2, look at the various possibilities. These are dominion components to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn in Zion. Verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. That you can bring beauty as a gift and give people. You know what that means? To give them beauty is not to... It didn't say to make them beautiful. To give them that there is something called beauty in the spirit. You can bring a man and say, take. I look at your life and it does not look like the word of God. I can give you beauty as a gift. These are not parables beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified let's look at verse 4 verse 4 says and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair does that sound like dominion they shall correct the waste cities even the desolation of many generations the anointing of the spirit is powerful it empowers people to anoint classically means to legitimize your operation by making available to you all the resources that makes for your efficiency that's what it means to be anointed to be anointed means to legitimize your operation that means if i send you you are not anointed to go until you have the message the address and the money you see if i say go to a store and buy something i must give you the message buy something the address the store and then the empowerment you see that now because knowing what to buy is the basis of your obedience the address is where you will get it but when you get there an exchange must happen you can have the message you can even know where to go like many people know the message many people know the message they even know the address my family Port Harcourt, nigeria europe and they take bold steps of faith but at the point where you stand to exchange the gates will ask you who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen the gates will ask you why should we be open for you now you know that you should heal you know that you should heal in the name of jesus to lay hands on the sick now your hands are on their head Without the anointing, that is where it ends. Imagine someone standing in a store and you say, listen, I was sent. Look at, there is even a letter here that proves that I was sent. Yes. Is this XYZ pharmacy? Yes. I was told to come and buy Panadol. You are in the correct place. How many? I need one carton. You have the audacity to demand for one carton. And they say, all right. 
bring hundred thousand naira. He said, "Sorry, I didn't know I was supposed." So Jesus tells the disciples, "I have taught you the message. I mentored you well. I have given you the description that you are going to the ends of the earth. But tarry, tarry. Having a correct message is not enough." <clears throat> Even knowing where you should go and what you will do is not enough. He gave them a caution. Tarry. Tarry. Until you be endued with power. The Bible says now when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. That they were gathered together in obedience because he said tarry. Listen. There are many of us who do not know that the anointing activates dominion. Things do not change just because you want them to change. There is an agency that can come upon men that compels things to change. So, if this gentleman has a situation in his life, just because I am sympathetic towards him does not mean things will change. This is a realm beyond sympathy. Compassion is powerful. But let me tell you, the, the factor that corrects is that I know. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil is that in your Bible for God was with him how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power let me read it again how god anointed the word with the holy ghost and with power that he was the word did not mean that he would go about doing good how god anointed the word the word had to wait for 30 years as the logos of god until he was endued with power the power component is the last digit in the dominion equation in all your getting there must be an investment of God's power upon your life otherwise please forget about dominion you would think that Jesus would just show up and begin to do mighty things no the message was already given to Moses but Moses said listen going to tell Pharaoh that you sent me is absolute nonsense Pharaoh is a stubborn person who will I tell him has sent me and what will be the token I need something and Moses carried the message he knew the address but he carried the rod of God in his heart and on his hand and he was ready and with that mighty miracles happened ladies and gentlemen please hear me I know that there are many things that will be happening here but there are some of you the reason why God brought you here is because in truth in the area of revelation God has helped you some of you your heart is ever inclined to obey but this power dimension has been missing for a long time this is why you preach sincerely you do your best but now at the point of performance in luke chapter 1 and verse 34 the angel appears to mary and brings her glad tidings of great joy and mary is concerned about that salutation and he said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man 35 is the answer gabriel now replies and says the holy ghost shall come upon you he says and the power of the highest shall overshadow you apostle how will my business rise from portaco to the nations if you think it's just by informing people and letting people know on social media thank god for that but you will see the limitation of men without the power of god <laughs> there are some things that do not happen by human strength it is by the power of god how do you stand here and speak that god is going to touch someone and an intelligent person who is seated he came to church consciously is seated quietly minding his business and at the instance of a word something happens no sir that one is not the power of a man that one is the power i'm saying that because it is my prayer that something will fall upon someone 
and that will be the that will be the last card as far as dominion is concerned that you will rise out of this conference and you will write this date and say on this day on this day i encountered the power of god for ministry i encountered the power of god for my life i encountered the power of god the ability to create and manifest the ability to correct and restore this is dominion but now we do not yet see all things now we look at your life and we do not yet see all things there's still some disease trying to threaten the integrity of the world in your life there's still some negative situation around your life demonic patterns and occurrences that come to mock the integrity of God the assignment of the power of God is to insist that the Word of God does not look like a lie in your life without the Word of God the anointing of the Spirit does not have an assignment the assignment of the anointing the power of God is to ensure that the speakings of God become true in your life hallelujah so number one revelation number two faith number three the power of God Psalm 89 and verse 20 now we begin to pray Psalm 29 89 verse 20 Psalm 89 and verse 20 I have found David my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him reading to 24 verse 21 now with whom my hand shall be established my arm shall also strengthen him 22 it says and the enemy shall not exert upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him 23 i will beat down his foes before his face who will beat it down i but when you look from a physical standpoint you will think he's the one killing the lion and the bear and everything but he says i will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him 24 he says but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his authority be exalted please hear me potter court hear me house on the rock i believe that the lord brought us together even tonight it is not just the miracle service as a display of power from a man of God to a weak people who are hoping that an anointed man will bless them. Far from it. That is not the narrative. The Lord is bringing a superior orientation to let you know, number one, that in Christ you are a bona fide candidate, a recipient of this dominion. If and when it happens through understanding, light, revelation, faith, but the power of God is important. I long to see you, he said, that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that he may be established. When it has to do with encounter with power, there are two principal platforms from scripture as far as encountering genuine power that produces dominion is concerned. Number one, you can receive directly from God through encounters. The Bible is full of men encountered God directly for instance Solomon and they were given power to command certain possibilities hallelujah but number two which is the more classic operation of God is through vessels that have been empowered by the grace of God I want you to please listen carefully God anoints men principally through men not through bottles no God does not anoint men through bottles or through oil or through mediums. Those things only find their value if the men who are anointed anoint those things. And albeit within the framework of scripture. Hallelujah. So the assignment of a vessel that has been anointed by the grace of God is not only to use the power that has been given to command possibilities but to extend the same you see the way the power of God works huh, is like lighting a match or a candle if I light a candle and I use that candle to light another does the first fire reduce one candle can light ten that's the meaning of the word dunamis that by lighting others it does not reduce what you have no no dynamic power that is able to reproduce itself again again 
so it is possible that part of Moses' spirit can come on 70 elders and yet he still has it and yet the people that he came upon they could not keep quiet and this man remained in silence for a long time with that level of power and part of what was on him came on 70 elders with experience and their mouths could not keep quiet only god knows what men are carrying if one man can carry a legion of spirits you would see the man and just think he's, he's just a man who is a bit depressed not knowing a man who has a legion it, there is nothing a bit there that is the same way you can see a man and think he's just a bit anointed you would not look at the madman and see spirits every you just saw a level of energy that was not human he would cut himself you know how painful it is to cut yourself and yet he will inflict pain and live in tomes what did he do with the cold what did he do with the rain that's what happens unusual manifestations because of a legion now imagine what happens when a man stands by the grace of God as a compendium of the multifaceted dimensions of the Spirit of God as revealed in Isaiah 11. The Spirit of the Lord, dominion, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, counsel and might, fear, the fear of the Lord. Men look like men except that something in them has made them look like God. We all look like men until you stand in the presence of darkness hallelujah so while we begin to pray and among the many things that God begins to do in this place listen to me if you are sick in your body I want you to insist and ensure that you will not walk out of this place with that sickness you see you have a responsibility to agree with God that the season has come to an end take your eyes the key listen for as long as they looked at the snakes it kept biting them and until they died but when they looked onto him your eyes should not be on the situation i know you call it whatever name it is let your eyes be on jesus so you mean that growth can go so you mean that all of these things can leave are you trying to say while I'm seated, God can start turning things around and God can, can bring healing? Listen, you may have heard me say, the Lord revealed to me that before Jesus returns, there will be a, a return of the healing ministry again. Authentic, genuine manifestation of the healing ministry. Some of you may not be sick, but the condition that you are going through, you will embrace sickness 10 times. If you were given the option of that pain and sickness, you will embrace it. Growing up, we sang a song that says, some have food, but cannot eat. The part of the song that disturbed me, some can eat, but have no food. Do you know what it means to be able to eat and have no food? You can stay in a house but have no house. I can preach but have no platform. I am sincere but nobody can hear me. I kill the lion and the bear but who will know? It is dangerous to have ability and yet not have visibility. I'm saying that because there are some of you here you have paid your price working with God but it's just that 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 access for the nations to know that God has invested so much in your life is not there and you cannot announce yourself you see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another there are some of you who are tired of negative circles circles that seem to repeat itself by February you thought it will end now we are in November if you keep quiet like this I pray that it does not happen that next year by this time you still come again don't forget that the man who was at Bethesda the Bible says he had been there for 38 years I'm sure after the fifth year he would say no problem by the sixth year everything will happen time does not change anything 
the day you get angry and in the name of Jesus said tonight is my night this moment is my moment there is no reason why I should walk away without a testimony listen the woman with the issue of blood said to herself since there was no one to listen to her she said to herself if I may but touch let me just know when Jesus is passing I don't care what will happen you can insult me when I'm healed I will tell you sorry if I step on you let me get the miracle first we can discuss the issue of we look to Yahweh Yahweh our hope is Yahweh Yahweh Lord we look to Yahweh Yahweh forever Yahweh Lord I look to Yahweh Yahweh forever Yahweh Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh. Please listen, beloved people of God. I want you to make up your mind that you are not the one who will clap for others today. That in the name of Jesus, for the sake of your children born and unborn, for the sake of those who are connected to your destiny you're a man of god here tonight is your night to cry lord i hold on to the horns of the altar something must be loose about my life and my ministry i must access power from heaven that grants me capacity to walk in dominion hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord now please listen I want to begin to minister now hallelujah I just want you to bring for me out those who are under the anointing now please no talking no shouting if you can I just want you to be silent I don't know why God does this but this is the wisdom of God sometimes he just acts in a very very strange way hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. Now, I'm going to pray for you. When I mention that case, please, whether you are an usher or not, I want you to bring those people out. You call it a miracle service. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The fire of God is going to begin to come on certain people, and I will tell you what it is for. I want you to please pay attention. Hallelujah. You see, there is always one vessel that God uses in every family. To be the one who is a deliverer are we together now in every family and sometimes it's not just by the chronological firstborn secondborn you can be the least and yet you are the one that God has chosen now the power of God is coming on these people these sets of people that God is calling to be battle axes particularly in their families I stretch my hands right now please bring them out my God you don't have to be an usher please if if anyone is under the anointing close to you please bring them let's see what we can do with the space we have here in the name of Jesus I decree by the decree of heaven over families raised by God like a reed that has been taken out of fire in the name of Jesus the son of the living God like a reed that has been taken even out of fire by the finger of God anointed to be deliverers even by the spirit of the living God hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. I'll just pray over this one so that we can have some more people because I'm about to declare 
and announce deliverance right now over people who have been held bound by all kinds of demonic things in the name of Jesus for all those who are in front here I decree and I prophesy over your life that mantle and that grace to open ancient doors that have been locked up over your family and as I'm praying for them I'm praying for everyone by the power that raised Christ from the dead I hand those keys over to you now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare by the power that created the heavens and the earth here at activate conference 2022 I decree and declare in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that anointing rest upon you grant you capacity to bring others out your family members out all who are connected to you by bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I declare this upon you to the glory of the name of Jesus now please hear me I'll pray for the sick shortly but you see spirits do not only manipulate men spirits can manipulate conditions spirits don't only possess men they can possess conditions that means a spirit can find expression over a condition and you find out that the same way men behave that is how that condition will behave hallelujah the bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i want to pray for you that if God be God everything that has threatened your liberty that is in Christ I want you to open your heart to receive because you will be surprised at many things that you are going through in your life are orchestrated by the presence of spirits even in ministry even in family even in health in the name that is above all names I decree and declare over God's people that everyone who is under the yoke of any demonic influence by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the blood of the eternal covenant help them I decree and declare be set free now be set free now be set, help them please be set free now I command those spirits in the name of Jesus let them go by the blood of the eternal covenant for the Bible says blotting every handwriting and ordinances that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross therefore we establish the victory that is in Christ and we announce your liberty in the name of Jesus we announce your liberty in the name of Jesus we announce your liberty in the name of Jesus the spirit of death the spirit of inheritance the spirits of poverty the spirits that control patterns repeating cycles by the fire of the Holy Ghost anyone here who is a victim of repeated patterns in the name of Jesus and by the grace upon this altar we announce your liberty we announce your liberty please help that lady we announce your liberty 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 in the name of Jesus I want you to pay attention every chain that has tied you down that will not allow you make constructive kingdom progress I stand upon this grace tonight and under the corporate anointing in this place I'm seeing chains breaking from people's hands as I speak in the name of Jesus chains break chains break chains break chains break stagnation comes to an end chains break in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there are families here 
that have repetitions of sicknesses that you find out everybody has the same kind of sickness and no matter how medically attentive they are to that situation it does not seem to have a solution I make reference again to what was said in the time of Jesus who sinned that this man was born blind him or his father and Jesus said neither but this has happened that the glory of the Lord be revealed therefore in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God and upon the authority of that which Christ represents I decree and declare that everything that is inconsistent to the program of God and the liberty of the saints be delivered from it now hallelujah be delivered from it now 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 all doors open all doors open all doors open i'm saying it to someone this is not for everybody all doors all doors open i declare it. all doors Patakot. hear my voice all doors open all doors open ministry doors open business doors open help that woman career doors open all doors open the doors of influence the doors of access the doors of opportunity for he said a great and effectual door is open but many are the adversaries i clear the adversaries out of the way but as for that door by all means be open in the name of jesus and for certain doors we not only declare that be open we declare be broken it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god we decree and declare i say it again that the gates and doors they represent systems of access that transit people from one realm of possibility to the other i stand by the god of heaven every door that has shut you and impeded your advancement i speak to it now let it be open hither and deeper in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen jesus speaking about the power of faith and relating it to doors he says which of you that a man comes to knock your door in the night wanting that you help him with food because he has visitors or because he's late and you tell him listen you came at a wrong time your timing is not correct i've already gone to bed with my family but the bible says because of his importunity his consistency to knock that he will get up and give him as many loaves as he's desired there is a level of pressure you mount upon the integrity of god that compels doors to be opened for the last time i declare over those doors in the name that is above all names we are not praying that some will open in acts chapter 12 the bible says all doors open not some not some the door of your spiritual life should not open leaving your finances the door of your finances should not open leaving the door of character no we declare again all doors open say amen all doors open all doors open in the name of jesus according to revelation chapter 3 from verse 8 and 9 it says that i set before you an open door and it says none can shut it and he said that happens by the mystery of the key of david he that openeth and no man can shut that means when doors are open is men that shut them but there is something i can do to that door he that is the holder of the key of david that opens a door that no man i say it again that by the mystery of the key of david access to superior light this door be open and remain open isaiah was prophesying and he says your gates shall be continually opened they will not be shut day or night so that you will receive the forces of the gentiles hallelujah 
said where you have been deserted so that no man will walk through you that you become an eternal excellency even a joy of many generations may that be so for you and for those who are here in front i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit it is a new season for you now i want to pray a very serious prayer that god just put in my spirit hallelujah those in front if you can god bless you you can return back let me pray for this officer i was very touched um just seeing him just come and lie in the presence of god sir i want to pray for you i believe in the power of the holy spirit and i believe in your hunger i want to pray that that which you seek you see according to james 2 26 a body is useless except it is empowered by a spirit in every component there is the body and there is a spirit a business is a body without a spirit it is dead are we together now ministry is a body without a spirit spirits empower bodies so be sure that everything you are doing has its spirit component i want to pray for you sir a man wearing his uniform as an officer would not come and officers are powerful people they have been trained using the highest levels of strictness possible but you see the same way you are standing before the people of god that is the same way god will announce and honor you visibly listen there is an anointing called the kingmaker anointing a, a kingmaker never becomes a king but he enthrones and dethrone kings samuel never became a king but no king ever ascended to the throne ignoring his ministry let me pray for you sir no eye has seen no ear has heard what god has prepared for you so you submit to his work in you till christ is formed in you no eye has seen no ear has heard what god has prepared for you so you submit to his work in you till christ be formed in you till his glory be formed in you his wisdom revealed through you his power rests on you so you submit to his work in you till christ i stretch my hands towards you by the privilege of the election of grace i release grace upon you the grace for visibility i measure a thousand cubits in the realm of the spirit and in the name of jesus first as far as your practice is concerned receive grace take that anointing right now you will break lips and bounds you will in the name of jesus you will run through a troop you will leap over walls even by the power of the holy spirit and i declare upon you rise to the highest level in your practice even by the favor of god you will not die in battle you will work valiantly in the name of jesus christ this is by the decree of the watchers may the lord honor his word in the name of jesus i pray amen and amen i want to pray right now listen every territory is in trouble until it can find a rich investment of the spirit of prayer and intercession i want you to listen very carefully there is a relationship between the spirit of prophetic intercession and the corporate territorial manifestation of dominion you can have dominion as an individual but a territory only assumes a posture of dominion in the spirit to the degree to which you find men who understand the mysteries of the altar i want to release a grace upon you because you see when a territory does not have men who pray strategic prophetic prayer ezekiel 22 said i sought for a man that he would stand in the gap i sought for a man it is in the place of prayer that you will have access to negotiate destinies like abraham did over sodom and gomorrah 
God came to Abraham to report what he was going to do. That is what it means to be a friend of God. Shall I hide this from my friend Abraham, seeing that he would be a great nation? And Abraham said, hold on with your judgment. Per adventure, you'll find 50 people, then 20 people, then 10 people. He said, for their sake. And he gave him a chance to rescue Lot. And the wife of Lot would have been rescued except she turned back. And I said, if any man draws back, my soul will have no pleasure in him. Please listen carefully. River State, Port Harcourt, South South. The program of God, as far as influence and dominion over systems and structures, is at the mercy of men and women who know how to transact possibilities in the spirit even through prayer when jesus came he was not just learned he did not just teach the disciples and let me tell you when it has to do with the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession is more than give me tea and give me bread god can literally listen there are three levels of authority this is not my assignment tonight but let me just share it with you the first and the lowest level of authority is authority over things. When God grants you access to things, it is not such an accomplishment in the spirit. Authority over things. The second level of authority is authority over nations. Are we together? The highest level of authority a man can command on earth is authority over God's program. Listen carefully. Authority over things. Then authority over nations and territories. Men. But the highest level of authority is God can commit his program to you. And say, listen, this is what I desire to do over a people. And I am trusting you. You will steward that move. There are people here. This, I'm saying this because there are many levels of impartations that will happen. Others are receiving that impartation that grants you access to authority over things. Others, God is measuring a thousand cubits for you. And he's increasing your territorial influence. People do not just command territories across nations. It is not just about human recommendations. No, this thing is an accreditation in the spirit that is reflected in the earth. A man approved of God, he said. Are we together? In the parable of the five, two, and one talent, if you remember Matthew 25, the blessing that was given to them for faithful stewardship of talent, he did not just give them more talent. He said, well done, good and faithful servant. I now commit to you authority over kingdoms. So he used the talent as a test. He gave unto one physical things as the first level of authority to steward things like money, you see, when God gives you money and gives you things, land, that is wonderful. But in the realm of the spirit, you are not very much. But then he gives you authority over nations. You step into nations and regions and change the spiritual climate over that place. You see that now. And it has a physical reflection. Elijah did not say let there be no rain in a radio house or a TV house. He stood from a position and influenced the territory and it responded physically. Then the highest level is the program of God. Where God can say because you are alive, I know that my program for this dispensation is preserved. So I want to pray the spirit of prayer and prophetic intercession. This is more than the realm of give me tea, Lord give me bread, Lord help me. I'm saying this because some of you hear me. Some of you, if not for this conference, your bishopric is about to be taken by others because God has committed this to you. But because you see the ministry of intercession is very unattractive. It does not seem to carry physical rewards because nobody knows you. You may not be invited for conferences, no honorarium. As Anna the prophetess, yet that is the ministry that brings Jesus to the earth. I decree and declare, men and women, by the power of the Holy Spirit, according to Ezekiel 22, the mantle of the intercessor, the mantle of a watcher, Makatos Ketepa, let that grace fall on you now. The spirit of prayer and supplication. Understand the mysteries of the altar. Command power in the heavens. 
I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ over the climate of Portacot, over the climate of River State, over the climate of the South South. Help this woman, please. I decree and declare right now, may you be granted access to the seeing eye and the hearing ear in the name of Jesus Christ. Discern the speakings of the Spirit and obtain grace to hold on to the horns of the altar till the program of God is birthed within a season. Prayer that allows or disallows the program of God. Hallelujah. Let's pray for the sick now. I want you to pay attention, please. Please listen, everyone, whether you're inside or outside. Why is the healing ministry important? I will tell you. The healing ministry is important principally because God designed the human spirit to only find expression in this domain when it is in partnership with a human body. Listen carefully, please. And everybody is given one body per lifetime. You are not given the liberty of having many bodies within one lifetime. It is the exhaustion of one body that is called a lifetime. From birth till the time you transit. Are we together now? A lifetime is not measured by longevity of time. The day the physical body is exhausted, your lifetime has finished, even if it's one day. So there are babies that have a lifetime of two hours. Is that true? You only measure it by the presence or the absence of the health of their bodies. And God so designed the spirit of man to only dwell in a body when it has a threshold level of health and vitality. Please listen and learn. That means when Satan wants to kill you, he begins by administering sickness to your body. Every administration of sickness is death coming to your corridors. Are we together now? So when we pray for people to be healed, it is more than validating the anointing of the man of God. God is giving your body and your spirit a chance to coexist for the purpose of his program. Are we together? Why does God heal? He does not just heal to reveal his love, which is important. He does not just heal to reveal his power, which is important. But he heals because if your body is dissociated from your spirit, based on the law of territory, you no longer has, have legitimacy to function upon the earth. Your spirit will have to relocate to a dimension. Are we together now? This is very important. It is the reason why no spirit functions on earth except and unless there is partnership with human bodies and the human body was so designed to have so much space in the spirit that many spirits can coexist within a human body are we together yeah it is the reason why demons clamor for human bodies they clamor for bodies but the best is the body of a human and i hope you know for you to be a human you first have to be a spirit you can't be a man except your spirit. Every man is first a spirit. Then he resides within a mortal body. Are you learning now? So when we pray for the sick and we correct by the power of God, anomalies within your body, I repeat again that it is more than just, it is an extension of your life. It is proof that God loves you. And now he's granting you a chance to live. Resurrection is simply giving a spirit a chance to come back to a body so that it can live. Because the spirit is not dead. But if it does not come, it cannot walk again. That is the reason why when Jesus Christ was coming from heaven the first time, he didn't have a body. God needed to partner with a woman to manufacture a body for the word called Jesus. Are we together? And when that body came, Watch this now. When Jesus died and resurrected, you thought he would leave the body on the ground like Moses and go. He went with the body again. 
so that the next time he's coming virgin or no virgin the next time he's coming there is no discussion with anybody he can come any day because he has a body this is why we know that the return of Christ is true because the body he will use to return he already has so I want to pray for the sick right now please hear me it is wicked for you to think I do not need healing when you are sick sorry to be that harsh the reason is because you need to know that there are many destinies connected to you are we together now and even if you love your condition like that for the sake of those who need you man of God for the sake of those who depend on your vitality to hear the gospel you must open up yourself to be healed and listen I hope you know that even for your loved ones who are afar off like it happened to the centurion and stand by faith and believe for them are you ready for healing now now here's what I want you to do very quickly for those outside let me encourage you I do not know the condition for those outside and I want you to know that no matter what price you go through tonight I want you to know that this is a sacrifice and an investment for the sake of what God is doing in your life everybody God you uses mightily today had moments in their lives where they made sacrifices in the rain in the sun and in any condition you must love where you are going better than where you are and be willing to pay any price are we together now I'm going to pray our time is up and I need to be very fast about this I'm going to rebuke that devil of infirmity and the moment that happens I will declare your healing all those who find out that the power of God has touched them some of you I'm sure when you fell under the anointing or something happened to you there are all kinds of miracles that have happened may I request when I allow you to that you come right to my left here in the front or to my right there will be a few pastors who will take that testimony and even if it's just two or three for us to glorify Jesus and then I will end up declaring over your life is that fine Please lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And then if you are standing for someone, you can make contact with your chest as a point of contact. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus, we believe, Jesus, there is healing in your name. Saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. I decree and declare now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the power that defeated death, hell, and even the grave, in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I declare that every spirit that is back of any and every infirmity here represented leave now in the name of Jesus shout a believing amen leave now shout a believing amen leave now shout a believing amen leave now Now I release the power of God to your body. I declare, my God, I just sense fire leaving my hands and just touching people. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Eye right conditions, I declare, be healed right now. Bone conditions, 
you are here and you could not walk or you are using an aid in the name of jesus i want you to lift it and begin to walk now by the power that raised christ from the dead i pray for everyone with heart palpitations heart palpitations i declare be healed right now anyone who cannot see completely or partially i bring restoration to your sight in jesus name every growth and every swelling in your body i command it to disappear now the lord is healing back pain very severe back pain be healed right now peptic ulcer be healed now please help them blood conditions you don't need to bring them out don't worry blood conditions right now i decree and declare my god miracles are happening there is someone i don't know if it's that you hit this side of your head just this side whether you hit it on a wall or is it that you fell and from that time you've been having excruciating pain the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now there is a lady you have suffered excruciating pain on your left breast it's not like there is a swelling or something but there's been severe pain in the name of jesus that devil leaves your body now anyone here suffering the issue of blood be healed now organ failures of any sort we declare a brand new replacement now the lord is showing me someone you cannot lie down on this side of your body the left side now when you lie down you have severe pains especially around your heart region the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ everyone with a child suffering from autism at any and every level i declare be healed now be healed now deaf ears be opened now there's someone your kneecap it's not like you cannot walk but severe pains around your kneecap the lord is revealing to me i decree and declare be healed right now now I want to describe someone's condition as the Lord is revealing you know how you swallow something and it does not go down and you feel like something has hooked you on the throat this is how someone has been for a very long time it's like you feel that there's something there is a weight around your throat I am declaring right now the power of God is touching you shout a loud amen peptic ulcer be healed now Pile, be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ is there a woman here I'm seeing the number four four years you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb please let's not let's just let's just obey instructions I know there might be many people but this is four exactly four years is there someone like that I just want to pray for you very quickly the Lord is revealing to me four years I don't know whether you're inside you're outside or you're online four years I'll pray generally for those trusting God but if there is such a person please let me know very quickly so that I will pray for you because your time has come look and leave my brother leave look to Jesus Christ and leave it's recorded in his word Hallelujah. This only that you look and leave. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. The Lord is showing me a vision. This person on the ground, where is her husband? My dear, the lady crying. Is your husband here? I rebuke the spirit of death I know you are here for the issue of barrenness but in the name of Jesus I rebuke the spirit of death hallelujah I'm not a prophet of doom but I'm looking at this lady 
and I'm seeing somebody hold a mic but singing a song of mourning. You are singing, oh, but it's a song like I don't know if she's a musician, maybe I don't know where she came from. But I'm seeing you hold a mic and you are singing, and it's like you are saying, God, you have not done this. This is not how can I be singing? And yet this happens to me i rebuke the spirit of death i'm saying it again by the power of the holy ghost please help her i cast that spirit right now out of her life and her family in the name of jesus christ and for these ones who have come please if you come out for prayer for fruit of the womb make sure you are married hallelujah in the name of jesus we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit for these ones who are here madam look at me this woman Please place your hand on your stomach. I declare this demonic thing around your stomach. I declare that it leaves you right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. And for all of you who have come in the name of Jesus, according to the time of life, return with your children. Return with your children. Return with your children. In the name of Jesus, return with your children. There is somebody you could not lift your hand high like this. I'm praying right now that the power of God will rest upon that person. And when it's time to take testimonies, you check yourself and you find out right away that that miracle has happened to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone who throws up everything. It's like almost everything you eat, you will still throw up again. You eat but then you throw up this person is not very old is a young maybe a teenager or maybe just in early adulthood this is what I'm seeing you eat and something happens and you have to throw everything away it's a demonic thing I don't know the medical condition but I just know that it is demonic in the name of Jesus be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed right now there is someone you are scheduled for an MRI MRI this is what I see and this is there is something wrong with your body and your organs you've been scheduled for an MRI in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person but the Lord is revealing to me that the power of God is bringing you life right now 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 I'm seeing someone you cannot stretch your fingers this far like this I think one of them you experience is like a vein that that pulls very severe pain when I'm done praying I want you to check yourself now that devil must let you go right now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God be healed now in fact the Lord is showing me someone you have a condition like the early stages of thyroid you know when someone's throat begins to swell in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is inside or outside be healed right now and for someone who is standing in for your mom your mom has a problem with arthritis I'm seeing that she's not able to stand in the name that is above all names let the power of God right from this auditorium touch mama wherever she is in the name of Jesus Christ high blood pressure goes down now high blood pressure goes down now hallelujah the situation that God is showing me is not something I can say openly for social reasons but this is something that has to do with a couple and it is affecting your marriage seriously I may not have to announce it but in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that everything that the devil is trying to use to destroy your marriage that was not so by the power that raised Christ from the dead we correct that condition now please say amen we correct that condition now in the mighty name of Jesus because with what God is showing me that is a uniquely um, it's a very serious condition and it is very demonic You've taken effort, you've done, you've seen doctors. It is a demonic situation. We are arrested right now. It comes under the feet of the Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Someone, you are losing your voice. 
you generally cannot shout with energy and vibrancy it looks like when you try to shout your voice it's like you are palpitating you can talk but you cannot really really shout you can't pitch something is happening to you i don't know what that thing is but in jesus name that pressure upon your chest and your vocal cords i declare be free right now let there be complete healing and liberty for god's people now here's what i want you to do very quickly for the sake of our time i know that god has touched many people right now inside and outside let me give an instruction for those who will be coming from outside god has healed you he has touched you and you're coming from outside please do signify so that the ushers know that you're coming to testify and then they allow you for those who are in here right now i want you to check yourself the lord is showing me a lady you came here with someone's picture there is a picture that you came with i'm not talking of it on phone a picture real picture that you came you are trusting god for the healing of that person in the name of jesus I don't know who that person is but i just saw that flash as a vision in the name of jesus let the power of god touch that person and let there be testimonies to the glory of the name of the lord now please you are you, are, you have received a miracle any kind of make your way to the front right now let's celebrate them check yourself do what you couldn't do if you're coming can we have a few pastors maybe one stand by my left and then my right so that we'll see god bless you god bless you celebrate those who are coming check yourself do what you couldn't do before are you celebrating miracles my god make your way to the front please clear the way for them clear the way for them let's have a few people and then we'll testify and we'll declare over our lives god bless you but Akot, is this how you celebrate the hand of god we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever, Yahweh. Let's just have a few. You're ready? Okay, please. Straight to the point. Your name and your. Yes, go ahead. My name is Joy. Uh, February this year, I had an accident. Gate. You had an accident? Yes, gate fell on me. Okay. The, I was trying to roll the gate, so it fell on me. And the, this bone, it shifted. The bone shifted? So for months, I couldn't walk. So they were massaging it. So gradually, I was limping. From yes. From limping, I started walking. But since then, there has been pain on my kneecap. So when you prophesied about the kneecap, I was... Uh, look at this. Run. 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 Oh, come on. Look at this. Pain. Do what you couldn't do. Let the devil see. Come on, house on the rock. Are you celebrating the doer of great things? Jesus. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded, and bones came to its bone. My dear, in the name of Jesus, this miracle remains permanent. Now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Very right. quickly. There's another one here. Hold on, please. Go ahead. Uh, praise God. Okay. I'm the lady with um, the left arm. You couldn't lift your hand. I've not for how to, long? I've not been to the gym for like months. Just because You've not been to? To the gym. Okay. Uh, for months now, I can't lift this my left arm. But I just tried it. Like, Do it now. Like. Bring it down. Do it now. Do it now. It's like that like this look at um, in the name of jesus it remains permanent yeah. by the power of the holy spirit amen and amen yes please very quickly my name is Eno williams i went for a scan and was, you went for a scan i was feeling pain in my nerve so okay. i went for a scan the doctor can you said, help us with a bit of sound on the mic so the that the doctor just... said i have a hole in my nerve you have a hole in my nerve my intestines are okay. funny pushing yourself out so i was booked for a surgery i came in here with the pain I had to take a drug they gave me this pain killer my novel was practically paining me i couldn't do it i couldn't dance what's why the prayer was going on the pain just disappeared i can push my novel check yourself 
check yourself my dear any pain you see ladies and gentlemen make reference to what i taught you that when you see these kinds of things you may never know what happens to those who receive miracles you will see a lady like this who came to church imagine those who were aware of her condition then she goes back and no more pain what happened i met god how long has this been my dear since june and you had met the doctor and they were to have a surgery for you and when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. when the glory comes there'll be no words to say my dear in the name of jesus you will never forget this conference i stretch my hands and i declare perfection right now that demonic thing leaves you and leaves you forever enjoy your liberty that is in christ in jesus name i pray are we ready yes very quickly please praise the lord i'm the one with the heavy chest is as if there's stone in my chest how long has that been my dear more than two years three and right years. now what happened to you i feel so relieved breathe in and out go asthma. ahead asthma drops but now it's as if nothing is in my chest i feel so good in the name of jesus christ you are perfected by the power of the holy spirit it will never return to you again in Jesus' name. Are you ready? Yes, please. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Israel, sir. I was having, I'm not hearing very well. Even in the office, while my boss is talking, I don't, I'm not able to hear. And How also, long has this been? I don't even know, but I know when, I'm growing, when I was growing up, I feel something like that. And now I, I also had a pile, a pile sickness. My mom told me about it. I told her this, something come out. And then she told me about it, but I was believing that if I can see you, sir, that I will be healed. Look at this. Which of the ears? Both ears, sir. Both ears. You couldn't hear well. Yes, sir. Growing up, you knew that was a condition. Yes, sir. But right now? Sir, I, I believe I will be healed. Praise the Lord. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Come on, look at this both ears and then pile medically confirmed yes come look at this gentleman you couldn't hear properly and then the condition of pile imagine that were your child and now you return home and say mommy it's over activate conference over by the spirit this is jesus revealed this is Jesus glorified. I stretch my hands and I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this demonic thing comes to an end. Be set free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. My name is Frances Long John. I, I fell down last week. You fell down last week? Yes, on my butt. And my back has been paining me. My hand and my knee twisted. But right now, I'm not feeling it. And I see you're pregnant. Yes. And I'm not feeling the pain anymore. You're not feeling the pain again? walk any pain when are you due if i may ask next month yes in the name of jesus no trouble amen. say amen. amen in the name of jesus you go forth with joy and you return with peace amen. no trouble no complication i use her as a point of contact to speak over any expecting mother here I decree and declare your covenant with losses and trouble and pain in the hospital we banish it as far as the east is from the west in the name of Jesus my dear pain goes forever in Jesus name let's see if we can take a few very quickly yes please so you mentioned the case of a pressure on the vocal cord yes I sing in the choir and when I sing once I'm unable to sing again there are times my music director had to even postpone some songs because I won't be able to take it and all of that. But as you mentioned the case, I felt a release on my throat. Completely. And I believe I'm perfectly okay. Let's sing together. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people. 
Hallelujah. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. I have had two surgeries on my spine. One in 2017 and one in December. And then suddenly, when I sat down there, you mentioned somebody with the spine, the back, the spine. Yes. And the spirit of the Lord lifted me up. Before now, my colleagues are here and they know my condition. Going to work has been an issue. I go and I pretend. I don't walk the normal staircase. I have to walk through the back because I was trying to cover up something. And then suddenly, the spirit of the Lord lifted me. Madam, <laughs> climb up and come. Climb. Look at this. Look at this. Two surgeries. Jesus. Jesus. We give you praise. Listen, Madam, don't cry. Listen, let me tell you something about miracles, ladies and gentlemen. I will remind you again that this is more than the display of power from anointed people. You see a woman like this. This is what it means when the Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me, Who is that? She's my colleague. Oh, she's your colleague? Yes. So you are aware of this? Yes. How many of you know about her situation? He called me from the house to come. He oh, someone invited him. Yes, his name is Ezekiel. He was outside. When I came in. Ezekiel, may God multiply you and increase you because it is on account of your inviting this dear woman that God has honored her this way. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection for you. It will never, never return again. Strength for you. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, please. Oh dear, we have to work with time. So just a few and then, yes, go ahead. I'm still going to prophesy over your life and declare that everything that does not look like Christ, the same way you saw God moving here, in the name of Jesus, we will release angels to homes, to houses, and to begin to shift things. There must be the manifestation of dominion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Sir, over five years since 2017, I had a major surgery that affected almost all parts of my body. You had a surgery? Yes, there were major complications, especially that of my heart. Now, I will go to preach and sometimes I come back and I'm very tired. The moment I will lift up any little thing, I begin mm. to breathe as though I want to give up. Sometimes, at some points, fainting spells will begin to come. It got worse in 2020 and I still was still resilient. I was still going about my activities. And before you knew it, at this particular moment, even in church, I was still having the problem. I did not tell my friend about it. Uh, but right as you were ministering, as soon as you mentioned heart palpitations, I did not feel it. My breath Completely. came instantly. I became, I became whole. In the name of Jesus, this demonic thing will never come to you, dear man of God. I empower you by the Spirit of God. This is dominion at work in Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes, please. My name is Alelo Lucy. Um, I've been having something on my hand for years. I can't open it. I can't close it. It's oh, this was the lady. One of the cases you mentioned. Come again, please. I've been having something on this. my hand. Yes. I can't open it. I can't close oh my it. God. It does me too much. You can't open it. You can't, can't close it. it. I cannot. But now. Now. <laughs> Listen, come, my dear. I want you to go back and tell everybody that you came to House on the Rock, Port Harcourt, and here at Activate Conference, this is what Jesus did. 
tell all who knew sorry to ask you darling how old are you 13 you see that the devil is wicked because he does not choose any age range he will afflict a baby like he will afflict an old person but this is the implication my dear may you serve the lord all the days of your life and may god use you mightily one more time let the devil see you look at this god bless you darling thank you can we have two or three more my apologies we may not there are so many testimonies we can use the sessions tomorrow to be able to have them let's just have two or three striking ones very quickly and then i pray a general prayer oh i see some people itching lifting their hands can someone attend to them let's just hear what they have to say my name is Ebuke. you made mention of a teenage and adult man that has a problem with eating whenever he eats he vomits so that has been my problem for a couple of months now and anytime i eat i usually vomit that i'm even scared of eating most times and you still made mention of so a uh, mother that has arthritis but well, my father has arthritis for so many years now and he's having the pain that i recently went home to go you eat and then it throws up yes throw up how long has this been a couple of months you believe in the power of god in the name of jesus christ this demonic thing comes to an end forever it comes to end forever in jesus name okay very quickly yes please my name is Violet Otiede. On Thursday, as we came for the program, while going home, I was trying to jump over a puddle of water. As I stepped, my knee shook. And since then, I've been having pain around my knee. My husband, my children, will be trying to massage. And as you mentioned, the pain around the knee, I've checked myself. I'm perfect. Check yourself. I couldn't do this. You couldn't, I couldn't do, do this. this. And it's gone. We do not take the doings of God for granted. We declare perfection for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes, please. Yeah, my name is Kendi, and uh, I, am ha I was having severe pain around my kneecap since 1997. And as you mentioned, the case, my case now, I tried to squat before I can squat like this without do it now. serious pain. But now I am free. I can do that. You know. You will think that because I see this thing all the time, you will get used to the hand of God. It is ever fresh and ever new. This is Jesus at work in the midst of his people. 1997, go and tell them what the Lord has done and give him glory through your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we have the last one? Is that fine? In Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Samarawa Bryan. And pastor, as you said, I'm a visitor. As you said, the issue of the kneecap, my mom couldn't squat since a few months after I was born because she had an accident. And all of a sudden, as you said it, in the, where we were, as I prayed for her knees, as she said she placed her hand, she started squatting and I'm grateful. Where is she? She's outside. She started squatting. She's, I wanted to come here and tell everyone oh, what yeah. happened. Can you imagine? Where is the mother? Is she in here? Mama, where are you? Where are you coming from, my dear one? Outside? Yes, sir. And your mom now can squat? She can squat. Oh dear, I wish we had the time. It would be good to see the mom of this wonderful child. And... Is she outside? But in the name of Jesus, the same way you came to tell us what God did in their lives, may God keep giving you testimony so that you will keep telling people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please quickly praise god so for some months now i've been having this issue that whenever i eat it takes hours to digest and there has always been this thing stopped here immediately you mentioned it it was cleared completely now... hallelujah my, my name is wisdom your name is wisdom yes sir i came to the service with a pain on my tongue i couldn't talk too much i had to keep quiet and I could not squat because I had a, a boil on my knee. So I could not squat. Here in this service, when you ministered, I got you. Now Look what God is doing with children, Pastor. Say everything I ask you to say. Lord Jesus, 
make me a mighty man make me a mighty use man. me for your glory use me for let me glory. speak your purposes let me speak your now purpose. you squat my apologies we may have to end at this point someone is itching who is that the mom oh okay go ahead please very quickly praise the lord my name is oriva from my growing up i've been singing in the choir and i don't lost my voice just in the month of april they made me a coordinator of my organization and i started organizing trainings and i found that out whenever i trained i lost my voice totally if there's another training coming up i struggled i can't talk and i'll be avoiding screaming. what happened to you right now but as a man of god was ministering talking about voice someone that lost voice i screamed like never before what i have not done for days and i know it is permanent in jesus name ladies and gentlemen let me take you to the north for one minute Yakare. Yakare, Yakare, Suyache, Yakare, 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 Suyache. Very simple song says Yakare. What you are saying is a prophetic word. Yakare means it is finished. Yakare means it is over. When Jesus hung upon the cross, he said, It is finished. So this will be a song of declaration as I prophesy. We've been coming to the south and the east be fair on us. Come on, let's go to the north. Are you ready now? Very simple song. Yakare. Over that financial situation, yes, we are pain in your marriage, yes, we are barrenness, yes, we are shame and reproach over your destiny, yes, we are business failure of all sorts, yes, we are pain and tears in ministry, hear me, yes, we are I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus standing upon the grace of God's choice servant and under the corporate anointing I speak over your life please listen everything that represents reproach and shame here at this miracle service tonight we decree and declare that the God who commands dominion is bringing to end every negative season in your life I prophesy over someone arise and shine I prophesy it is your season arise and shine arise and shine arise and dominate arise in your office arise in your family arise in Portacos arise in Nigeria arise in Europe in America in Canada arise across Africa here at activate conference 2022 we declare prophetically, arise, shine, indeed your light has come. I speak over you that Gentiles will come to your light and even their kings to the brightness of your rising. I declare that for your shame you shall receive double. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord gives you beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for the spirit of heaviness, I call you the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Can I pray over your finances? I decree and declare by the power of prophecy, may the heavens be rent over you, and may you experience favor, unusual kindness towards you, unusual access to the hearts of kings, 
an unusual acceptance at the gate in the name of Jesus Christ let me speak over everyone in ministry this is a new season for you regardless what you have done and you have seen by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it be a new season for you all those who are in the worship ministry the ministry of prophetic psalmistry obtain grace to write songs from the spirit obtain grace to write songs of revival songs that will be loud as portals that will usher in new moves of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ and for all those who are sons and daughters within the house and within this ministry the Bible declares that a worker is worthy of his wages I pray for you tonight and then through the sessions that come tomorrow I decree and declare under the corporate anointing that has run through this entire time of the conference in the name of Jesus walk in dominion Walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. Let me perform my last function for tonight. Thank you for your patience. It takes a lot to experience the fullness of God. Now please listen, let's minimize movement. I believe, like I told you, that the purpose of dominion even miracles and the move of the spirit is to see that Jesus is revealed in the midst of the saints and then through the saints revealed to the nations hallelujah God is only glorified to the degree to which Jesus is revealed and glorified and we have experienced different dimensions of his power and grace to deliver to heal to command breakthroughs over people I want to give somebody an opportunity to make it right with Jesus and don't you think this is just an altar call as usual listen very carefully and let the Holy Spirit direct your heart you can make it right with him right now two calls in one number one those who are ready to make this decision for the first time you are saying apostle truly I've, I've been around all this church thing but I've never truly made a commitment for Jesus there are those who are saying I remember making it right with Jesus but because of the vicissitudes of life several things have beat down my passion and right now as it is I cannot even say that my walk with God is intact wherever you are for those outside may I request that you march to the front of your screen and then for those who are here there must be someone here who wants to make it right with Jesus I count one to five within the minute or two that I have leave your seat and run right here do not be ashamed don't wait for someone to be the first come to Jesus one come on people of God is this how you celebrate salvation come come to Jesus come young and old come male and female come when it has to do with salvation there's room for you come don't worry about those who are in front there's room for you come 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 till he returns or calls me home it's here in the love of Christ I stand come said you must be born again apostle I want to come but I'm not even sure if I'm saved or not come there is such a thing as the assurance of salvation you can make it right you can make it right with Jesus come hallelujah now listen to me I salute every single one of you in front and those at the overflow and by the way those who are connecting by way of television or connecting through the internet here is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life this is really what it's about this is really what it's about the greatest expression of dominion is to subscribe to the power that can translate you from the kingdom of darkness even to the kingdom of light that of his dear son lift your right hand for those of you who are in front please do it as high as you can as a sign of total surrender and say this after me as loud as you can
believing that you are speaking unto the Lord say Lord Jesus one more time say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe with my heart that you died for me I also believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart into my life as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i declare that i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb from tonight I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name please keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones I lend my voice with pastor Larry and house on the rock and indeed this city to celebrate you for your mighty hand over these people you who is able to save to the uttermost we thank you for extending your hand to save these ones by the authority of scripture I declare that your sins are forgiven and based upon the integrity of the word of God alongside your confession I declare indeed that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over your life I call you the righteousness of God in Christ and I declare that you are empowered by the spirit to live a victorious Christian life welcome to a new life in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen any instructions okay hold on please those of you who are in here those outside just follow the officers those who are in here may i please request that you follow the counselors to my right which will be your left they will have a word with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seat let's honor them as they go give them a big big house on the rock god bless you is this the best you can do hallelujah now please hear me i want to encourage you by all means whatever you can do to be here tomorrow hallelujah i believe that the lord is going to be bringing a powerful word and he's going to be bringing healing deliverance again and he's going to be helping god's people to experience his grace invite everybody tell someone to tell someone that the lord himself is going to be lifted and glorified here his word will come with power and in the name of Jesus it will be a culmination of what God began and we agree by faith that God will touch he will heal he will bless in the name of Jesus Pastor Larry thank you so much House on the Rock thank you